And welcome back. Our special guest is Kansas First District Congressman Dr. Roger Marshall. He is out in the state. Is This was a normal time that they should be in their districts, and, and he is, and crisscrossing the state as well. Uh, let's now focus in on other things in D.C. Another developing story is the possibility of how to get this economy right. uh, going, and uh, there's a lot of different things, and one of those could be kind of direct payments to uh, to Americans. Right. And Ken, I got to put my doctor hat on and say more important than any legislation we can write in Washington is containing the virus. I know I sound like a broken record, but the best thing I can do for this economy is keeping everybody working. So we already spent $8 billion on health care products. We got to make sure we had plenty of testing, more respirators, all those types of things. And then we just did another large package designed for small businesses and those everyday working folks, those hourly employed wage earners, that we're going to give them two weeks of paid time off, two weeks of, um, of extra leave if they need it, as well as extended uh, unemployment insurance. And finally, more food, more money for uh, SNAP, for WIC programs, and for the food banks as well. So that's all been taken care of, assuming the Senate does their job here any hour now. And now we're looking toward the future. What we're looking at is a package. What can we do long term as well? There's some talk about some direct payments to people, but probably uh, more importantly is some type of a tax deferment, giving everybody a two or three months break on their taxes and getting low interest, maybe no interest loans to small businesses. And of course, agriculture, we're all small business folks in agriculture. Do you have some concern that the Fed acted so early in uh, basically uh, getting uh, the borrowing rate to zero? Well, you know, I think... I'm, I'm, just, I'm just a simple Kansas farm kid, but I, I thought they went up too quickly. They went down too quickly as well. And I think the markets, it causes everyone to go in a panic. They didn't ask my opinion. I know they were feeling a lot of pressure. I would have preferred little incremental bites in either direction. The, the president, again, as we've speaking, this thing is a continuing to, uh, a process that of course. Uh, is, is moving. But, but the president has basically shut off uh, uh, travel uh, to Canada and Mexico, but USMCA is so close to getting implemented now, yeah. uh, which could be a bright spot once we're over the uh, the hump, in a sense, flattens. You know, absolutely. And what the president's goal is, is to stop human people coming back and forth, but not impact trade. I know it's going to be hard, but he's doing everything possible to keep the trade open. Very proud of the USMC trade agreement. I think it'll give generations, future generations of farmers certainty with our best customers. Now, as we've seen with this uh, kind of mad rush of not only supply chain, but but uh, some of the basic staples, if you will, uh, they ran out too quickly. Is you know, will we move down the road to where something like this won't happen again? We won't have so much panic buying. I, I sure hope so. And I've been talking with the president for three years about this. As a physician practicing myself, I saw shortages of medical supplies five and six years ago. You've seen what China does to, to mm. cotton, to sorghum. They buy it, buy it all up, and then they undercut the market. Mm. You know the game here. So the same thing is, is happened. This is chapter 12 of the same book. The president doing everything he can to bring more manufacturing back home to the United States. All right. Uh, Dr. Roger Marshall has joined us, First District Congressman for the state of Kansas, with our special edition of our program. Stay with us. More in just a moment.